Welcome back to Time with Mr. Getz. Hey, I've been hearing from some of you. The thing I'm hearing is a lot of you think you're kind of bored right now. And I get it. We can't go places physically. We can't meet people physically. Sometimes that does make it a little boring. But maybe it would help if I shared a story with you about my friend Van. Because he had the same problem. He didn't have a lot of money. He lived in a small town. He couldn't travel places. But he figured out a way to make it work. Let's listen to Van's story and see if it can work for us too. This is Van, and he lives in a small town, like Roanoke. He has seven brothers and sisters. His dad fixes old beat-up cars for a living, and his mom takes care of the family. And even though his parents don't have very much money to go on cool vacations, he still travels all the time around the world, and he does it through books. Every night, his mom yells, Van, quit reading those books and go to bed. But he doesn't want to, because they take him all sorts of places. They take him to the deserts, the tall mountains, the blue oceans, the dark forests. He gets to go to the public library and borrow books every week. And they're free. He loves that. And he loves learning as much as he can from his teachers and other people around him because he knows that knowledge is power and it gives him the chance to fulfill his dreams. The more he learns, the more freedom he has. And he wants to get a good job when he gets older so that he can visit all the places that he read about. He's even saving for college by cutting his neighbor's lawn because valuing education helps him to shine and think about all the opportunities and possibilities that are ahead in life. Because knowledge is power and freedom. You know, Van traveled around everywhere he wanted to go, but he did it through books because he couldn't get there physically. That's a lot like us. We can't go places right now like we used to. We can't meet people like we used to but we can do those things through books. Hmm. So, think about that. Where are some places that you have visited in books? Or people that you've met in books? I'll share a few that I have over this break that we've had. I, uh, I visited one of my favorite place. These books are called The Chronicles of Narnia. And probably the most famous one is called The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So I was able to visit one of my favorite places, Narnia. That's always a good place to visit. I also visited Africa. Uh, this book's called Death in the Silent Places. It's about dangerous animals in Africa by Peter Hathaway Capstick. Uh, fantastic books, but a little scary because the animals are dangerous. But I've also met some very cool people. For example, I was able to meet our friend Wendell in the last story I read to you guys, when his room turned into a pigsty. So we can, even though we can't go places right now, we can through books. And even though we can't go meet new people right now, we can through books, all sorts of adventures. Now Dan also uh, liked education. He wanted to learn things because he knew that learning things gave him power and freedom. So. Think about some things that you've been learning over this break. One of the things I learned is how to make brownies from scratch. Yum. Also learned how to make Play-Doh at home. That was kind of fun. Think of some things you might want to learn. I don't know what it is, but you've got some time right now. You can learn. I know we have e-learning and there's things you have to do. But you can also learn things that you want to know. How to do a cartwheel how to do a magic trick, how to make a paper airplane. You can learn anything. So drop me a message. Where are some places you visited? What are some things you want to learn? Hmm, we have some time right now. And I know you can't necessarily go places or meet new people, but we can. Through books, through our imagination, through looking up things online. So use the time wisely, and as always, make it a great day, or not, the choice is yours.